Okay. Hey, Pris. Welcome. My R&D is done. Shield... Adept Shield Specialist. I guess that's from hitting level 10. Uh... She wants to give me the next mission in that storyline. I'm gonna say no for now. Let's keep cranking out shielding. And engineering, I guess. <laughs> Look at a Ferengi researching engineering. <laughs> That's awesome. A bunch of failures. No surprise there. Excellent. Authorized shipboard concert. 4% failure? Alright, sure. Serious illness is only 9% failure. 0% failure on that one. That sounds good. Hmm, the side effects of gravimetric distortions. 26. 26. 26. Not worth it. Uh. Admiralty? Yeah, I started I started the first Klingon and Romulan tour of duty missions just because they were available and I could. Hey Moskluk. How are you? Cool, I got my ships back. I need a lot of Engineering and Tactical. I need 13 Engineering and 14 Tactical. You go with the Heavy Cruiser. That gets me to 98%. Let's do it. 60, 85, and 60. See, that only gets me to 72. Not worth. I want to keep that one in here, because eventually I'll be able to do that one, and that one's going to get me, well, not as much as not as much experience as you'd think. I don't know. I'll hold on to it. All right, so. Moss Gluck sent me some weapons that I'm going to check out here. Ship weapons, phasers, and a torpedo, and then hand weapons. He bought a Melophone of, on eBay. I heard, I heard about that. I looked up a Melophone because I had no idea what it was. Alright, let me swap those, because these orange are actually epic versus ultra rare. Okay. Uh, let's see. 294 DPS. Am I looking at four weapons or aft weapons here? That's an aft weapon. What is this thing? 360 degree targeting arc. Omnidirectional agony phaser. That looks amazing. 292. 152, 149. Okay. Let's replace the 149 with the omnidirectional in the rear. All right, now what are my next lower DPS's? 152's. Got some 152's, okay. 308 is the highest, 294 and 272. Let's replace this 152 with a 272. 
swap that. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Because that does 292, 272, 152. 172, 178. So let's swap those. 152. Okay. This does 294. And this does 308. So we'll put the 308 on the front. Put this down here. Swap these around. And then this one is 194. Alright, hold on. My... Obviously the aft weapon should be the 360. Because why put it on the front when I'm mostly going to be facing the front anyway? And this can hit all of them. Alright, so besides this one, the... the th wait, okay, hold on. This is going to be hard. Not really hard, just tedious. 294... One fifty two. Okay, so this one's coming off. So the three strongest should be up to here, and the next two weakest should be in the back. Three oh eight. Two seventy two. Okay. One seventy eight. One seventy okay, so these two should be back here. And this should be up front. Why is the color of my name in the chat different from the color in the stream? Uh, I don't honestly know. I know it has to do with the fact that um, it's, it's technically pulling the stream chat off of my chat, and in my chat you're green, I think. I think that's what it's doing. Not 100% sure there. Alright, 308, 194, no, sorry, 294, 272. 292, 178, 172, and these are all under 172, right? Yeah. Alright, what is this? Oh my god! 692 deeps? Three fifty six. This is two seventy okay, so that one goes to the aft. This one comes off. This one goes into the four. Oh my god, this quantum torpedo launcher. Sick! <laughs> That's amazing! And this was a sniper rifle, right? 140. I do prefer fighting from a distance. So yeah, that would be a little better than what I've currently got. Alright, dude, that is... I got some sick ship weapon upgrades right there, man. Holy crap. That was awesome. And I can't... These are all bound, right? This one isn't. All right. Ship weapons, I should be able to put this in here. Hey, sick. All right, and then I guess I'll just go sell the rest. Awesome. Can I do the Q mission yet? I don't think I can. I don't think it's been the 20 hour. Nope. 
Uh, three hours, 29 minutes. That's about the time I'll stop the stream anyway. All right. All these were too, too likely to fail. Just to make sure, I've started this mission, right? Nope, I haven't. I have now! Alright. So I'm obviously not going to be able to do the uh, dilithium mining either. Hey Shadow, what is up? Let's go ahead and start the next mission here. Horus. Hello, Admiral. How much do you know about the destruction of the Rom of Romulus, Admiral? Uh, the initial explosion did not occur in the Romulus system, it was in the Hobus system, which had planets being mined for decalithium. Uh, the supernova acted counter to almost all we know about this type of phenomenon. The initial explosion converted the mass of the planets it consumed into energy, which then traveled through subspace. Ultimately, the Romulus system was destroyed, and along with it, the Romulan homeworld. Unchecked, the force of this chain reaction detonation could have threatened the entire quadrant. It was Ambassador Spock who sealed the rift by using red matter to create an artificial black hole. Until recently, the cause of the supernova was a mystery. However, the Nausican, sorry, the nascent Romulan Republic, our new ally, has shared information with us that Taurus, the former praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, may have been responsible to ho for the Hobus supernova. They attempted to apprehend her, but she escaped through the Iconian Gateway. Recently, a Romulan Republic, the Romulan Republic, has discovered new information that could help us track down Taurus. Uh, we want you to rendezvous with the RRW Lisset. Lisset? I don't know how that's pronounced properly. The new flagship of the Romulan Republic fleet and provide any assistance you can. Cool, I'm gonna get ship shielding for that. You're an admiral already? Yeah, dude. Level 53 out of 60 being the max. Haha! <laughs> but I'm still not far in the game. The main armament of the Honorverse is missiles with drive range of up to 60 million kilometers. I don't know what Honorverse is. Although, it's, if it's sci-fi, I'm intrigued already. I'm like a huge sci-fi nerd. I may have a problem. Man, you don't need to tell me that. I know I've got a problem. But you know how my problem can be solved? That's right. More cowbell. Alright. So let's go see if we can find Taris. Taurus. Whomever this lady is. The Honor Harrington novels are awesome. Are they sci-fi, I'm guessing? And how many are there? Without giving me any spoilers, is this an interest is this a series I would be I would enjoy? Being that I love Mass Effect and Star Trek and The Expanse. It's basically the Napoleonic Wars in space. Interesting. Honor Harrington novels. Hold on, I'm going to open this up in another browser real quick. Honor Harrington. It's a fictional character, blah blah blah, in the Honorverse. Military science fiction book series, two subseries, two prequel series, and an anthology. Alright, cool, that sounds awesome. Military science fiction. I am into that. 
Why is the Hobus planet still intact? That's weird. You would think it would have been completely obliterated. Thank you for the suggestion, Pris. I'll have to look it up. I opened it up, so I'll remember to go back and look at it. Sir, we've arrived at the Hobus system. We're being hailed by the ship. Okay. It is a pleasure to be working with you. I heard about how you got your first command. Well done. Not every officer could have stood up to the Borg like you did. Thank you. Agents working for the Romulan Republic have recovered definite proof that Taurus, or persons working for Taurus, were responsible for the Hobus supernova that destroyed the homeworld. Our agent spoke to Taurus. She claimed that she was deceived by Hakiv. But that does not excuse her culpability in the destruction of two inhabited worlds and the deaths of millions. Our agent tells us that Taurus believes her Iconian masters can change the past and restore Romulus. So not only is she a killer, she's insane. Nice. Uh, we should probably kill her. Taurus cannot be allowed to commit even greater crimes in an attempt to fix her mistake. My intelligence officer, Lieutenant Gaius Salon, has intercepted communications that may allow us to locate Taurus and finally bring her to justice. I'll let him explain in greater detail. Okay. Greetings. I am Lieutenant Gaius Salon of the Romulan Republic. There are certain pleasantries that are customary in these circumstances. However, I'm choosing to skip those. We have much to do. Recently, the Republic intercepted a transmission from a group of Remans in the Hobus system. These Remans have remained loyal to Taurus, the former Praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, who was deposed by Sela. While the transmission was not unusual, its origin point was. The Hobus system is under strict quarantine. However, a previous team uncovered a mining facility at one of the planetary fragments. We believe that the Riemann loyalists may have returned to this facility to continue their efforts. Uh, technically, yes, I do watch The Expanse. I've watched the first season, but I've not watched any of season two. Uh, however, I am 100% caught up on the books. That being said, let's not discuss it in too much detail here, because spoilers for obvious reasons. But yes, I love The Expanse. Why is it under quarantine? The Hobus system is the origin point of the supernova and subsequent subspace explosion which destroyed Romulus and Remus. It is still, as you say, a hot zone. The Remans loyal to Taurus are using the quarantine as a cover to resume their operations in the system. The transmission we intercepted was addressed to Commander Aranbu, a Reman who is the captain of Taurus's personal guard. He must be the liaison to the forces in the Hobus system. And your suggestion? The direct approach. If we confront the forces in the Hobus system, who are in violation of both Federation and Romulan Republic mandates by their very presence there, they will send a call for assistance to Commander Aranhu. Once he arrives, we simply follow him. It is likely that he will lead us back to Taurus. Good enough. Hey, Shady, what's up? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've just received emergency orders from Republic Command and must respond. Gaius can transport to your ship and help you complete the mission. We'll return as soon as we can. Sounds good. I am detecting some very rare minerals in the system, as well as the presence of protomatter. It is possible that Taurus used the materials here to construct her weapon. Interesting. Well, let's investigate. The planetoid's core remains, I'm sorry, contains trace signals of protomatter. We should get a sample. Scanners are also picking up some odd readings from some of the icy asteroids near the core. Recommend we investigate those as well.
Scan the icy fragments. These fragments are decalithium. If we can locate a supply of tekasite, that means Taurus could have had all the ingredients she needed to build a device right in the system. It is still circumstantial evidence, unless we can tie her to direct, tie it to her directly somehow. Uh, collecting a sample would be crucial. I recommend that we scan for tekasite deposits. Did you get a chance to catch you since then? How was... Oh. How's Pax? Pax was awesome. We had lots of fun. Reman ships decloaking. Okay. Well, now we can test out our weapons. Tavaro Light Warbird. Hello. Oh my god! These weapons! Oh, it's behind us. Okay. Pax was a blast, man. You saw a bunch of the pictures in, uh, in Discord, right? This is beta, I'm assuming. I know, right? I'm just destroying them. High levels of tekasite in this planetary fragment. Tekasite was one of the substances Starfleet believes was used in the creation of the weapon that triggered the Hobus supernova. As fragment. I suspected, the materials are all here. Our agent located Taris on planetary fragment Gamma. We should continue our search there. Picks with Mindy. Yeah, dude, these new weapons that Musk looks at me are amazing! significantly more powerful. <laughs> Scanners are detecting some kind of shield covering a large crater on the surface of the planetary fragment. The system is supposed to be under quarantine, but clearly there's some activity. Uh, yeah. A look at that. That surely doesn't look abandoned to me. Hello. Uh, 
Our system has triggered automatic defense systems. A Riemann ship is decloaking. They're hailing. Your presence here is a violation of the quarantines established by at least three sovereign governments. Explain your purpose. We're investigating your unauthorized presence. I serve the Romulan Star Empire and its true leader, Taris. That is the only authorization I require. Sucks for you. If we can disable the Sithesh, Sithesh, it's possible we might be able to lure out our Nahu to investigate. Hello. Seal the ship's energy signature. If we hide in the asteroids near it and mask our energy signature, I predict that Iran who will approach to investigate further and be unable to protect us. Okay. Well, let's go hide then, shall we? Yeah, dude, they were putting out the damage, weren't they? Crap. We were attacked by Starfleet some Jews. They appear to have fled. Interesting. This is exactly like Scenario 2247B. I thought Scenario 1849K would be a more likely option. I shall incorporate this data into my modeling projections. Nevertheless, we should now be able to follow Aranto's trail. He should lead us right to Taurus. Excellent. Follow the ship. Thoughts on For Honor? Uh, my thoughts are, it's a game. Have you tried it yet? No. Should probably swap those two questions. <laughs> it doesn't, uh, it doesn't appear to be a game I would be interested in. That's probably more along the lines of what you were looking for. Commander Aran, whose trail led us to the Iconia system. There's another system that is off limits to normal traffic. Uh, so any activity here is cause for concern. I recommend we investigate. That large crater looks like a likely place to start. Good enough. Shouldn't it be in orbit? Well, not if it's cloaked. Duh. He has most likely cloaked. The technology I used to track him is not localized enough to detect the ship. Only follow a general trail. Hello, Kalu. Welcome back. Scan the crater. We're picking up a large shield projecting structure of some sort. The shield is using a modified cloaking device. Uh, if I hadn't been scanning for large amounts of tachyon particles, I would have never found it. Riemann sheep... Sh sheeps? <laughs> We're Riemanns.
<laughs> oh my god. Raymond ships decloaking. Federation ship. I am Commander Jean Clado of the Riemann Starship Intraku. Your presence here could be considered an act of war. Leave immediately, or we will open fire. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. That is unfortunate, Starfleet. Our conflict is not with you. Commander Arahu has charged me with securing this installation at all costs. Praetor Taris must be allowed to complete her work. And you have already seen too much. Oh, you gonna die? Be beware those Riemann sheep. Where his sheep be at? Oh. Oh, he's above me. Would you look at that? Hello. How are you? We should be able to use them to lower the shield and reach the surface. Didn't know you were Nack McFeagle? I'm assuming that's a reference I don't understand. It's whoosh, right over the top of my head. Transmit the codes. Let's drop that shield. Lowered the base shields and allow us to transport in. Are you ready to beam down? <laughs> yep. Terry Pratchett thing. These are the coordinates for the underground structure we detected. Reading life signs, sir. Multiple Remans and one Romulan. Our quarry could be just ahead. Uh, Gaius is a Romulan. He appears to be a Borg liberated Romulan, however. That's probably why you're questioning all this stuff on his face. He also could be part Riemann. I don't know. He does have a little bit of Riemann look to him, but it's not quite as severe. Maybe he's half Romulan, half Riemann. But he's definitely Borg liberated. Oh, I guess this is a door. Yeah. Starfleet! How did they find us? Mm. They must have followed me, Praetor. I will deal with them. No, I need your help with the gateway. Send your guards. They appear to have been attempting to merge Iconian and Romulan technology. Perhaps in an attempt to reactivate the gateway network. We should access that console and attempt to open the door. Okay. Access the shipping logs. Stores of Tekasite, Decalithium, and Protomatter. You quickly download the data on your tricorder. This could be invaluable. 
Let's look at her personal logs. Hey, Polyp. Welcome. The Dark Matter have responded to my pleas for assistance with Tread Silence. Dark Masters? Oh my god, that just... That name right there is never good, right? My only recourse is to harness their technology for myself. When I step through the gateway and meet them as an equal, I'm confident that they will turn back time and make everything as it was before. Silo's looking for me, so is the Republic. God, the Romulans just splintered into multiple factions, man. Holy cow. I won't say Nemesis was terrible, it was just... I thought it was good. Alright, let's unlock the blast doors. Enter the access code. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know. Get up, Cuffress. Okay. Where are you going, man? Calm down. idea what just happened. Let's go find out. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Well, whatever. We'll just shoot you too. Starfleet, you are under arrest for war crimes. They were not my crimes. I was betrayed by Hakim, and now those crimes will never be undone. I hope you realize that in stopping me, you have doomed billions of Romulans to remain dead. 
now you shall live with that guilt as I have. Nope. You were blinded by your own lust for power and you killed those people as surely as if you had pulled the trigger yourself. Before we leave, may I suggest we look for evidence of the materials we discovered at Hobus? Uh, they will undoubtedly prove vital at Taurus's trial. We should also overload the gateway and make certain it can never be used again. What about the Remans that went through it? That seems kind of something important, right? Maybe that's just me? Protomatter appears to come from the Hobus system. Although there are several uses for protomatter, it is often used as explosive devices. It was also present in the debris from the device that triggered the Hobus supernova. Protomatter was used in the Genesis device. That's true, I'd forgotten that. The Tekasite contains energy signatures that correspond to the Tekasite deposits we scanned in the Hobus system. Tekasite is an explosive compound. Alright. And then this should be Decalithium. Appears to have come from the same source as the decalithium we discovered in the Hobus system. Understood. Overload the gateway. Time traveling gateway. Yep. The gateway has been programmed to overload. There's no way to stop it. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I think we just leave the Romulan guy there chilling. Taurus is in the brig, Captain, and all evidence we found has been logged and secured. Now we just need to deliver her to a safe location. Fly to the edge of the system. Well, hello. Okay. How nice to see you again. I feel like we are becoming old friends. I will admit that your previous attempts to thwart my plans have been irritating, but your actions today have more than made up for those petty annoyances. Taurus still has her loyalists among my people. An open move against her would have been a distraction from my greater plans. Yeah, I don't work for you, chick. But you played the pawn perfectly. I could not have asked for a more now, if you will transport Terrors to my ship, we can avoid any unpleasantness. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that, just saying. So Lissette informed us that you might need some assistance with the prisoner transport. Good thing we brought some backup. Thanks, man. Uh, that is incorrect, Shadow. You're close. The correct answer is daughter. Taurus is wanted by the Romulan Star Empire for high treason and war crimes against the Romulan people. The Empire is the legitimate government of the Romulan people, and I demand you turn this terrorist over for trial and punishment. You make an excellent point, but I'm afraid we captured her, and we must maintain custody. You are welcome to submit an extradition request with the Federation president. Taurus's actions did not impact the, did not just impact Romulus and Romulan worlds. Her alleged crimes were against the entire quadrant. You should be welcome to attend and even testify at her trial, or perhaps you could establish an interplanetary tribunal of those impacted by the hope of supernova. For now, she will remain in Starfleet custody. Turn her over for a sham trial and a swift execution? Sorry, Federation is not stupid. Hmm. Uh, it impacted uh, the entire quadrant. You are a disappointment. <laughs> Nevertheless, you did remove Taurus from the game, and for that I am grateful. Consider your decisions more carefully the next time we meet. I can be a powerful ally, 
or I can be your worst enemy. You are the epitome of generosity. <laughs> Uh, you're not the kind of ally I need, but thank you very much. Prisoner transfer successful. Taurus is safely secured in the brig. We can take it from here. One more thing. We're detecting some unusual energy residue from the surface. Our databases identify it as Iconian. Yes. Riemann's got the heck out of here through it. Do you have any idea where they went? Looks like some kind of Romulan station. They're hailing us, okay? Looks like we missed all the excitement, but I have been monitoring your progress. On behalf of the Romulan Republic, I would like to thank you and your crew for your assistance. I am confident that the Federation will provide more than adequate security for Taurus until her trial can be arranged. You can transport Gaius back to the Lisette as soon as you are ready. Understood. I got the Belfast just gonna chill here. Like, no problem, we're just gonna hang out. me. I think I see it right there. Also, hey, Total Mark. Magnesite. Have I crafted much? I haven't crafted anything. I've been building up my R&D though, so like, my my shields are at level 10, my engineering's at level 6 and level 5, but I haven't actually used this to manufacture anything, no. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. People keep crafting stuff for me. We have much to consider, Admiral. If the destruction of the Romulan homeworld was a deliberate act, not only was it mass murder, but that one event has been a major cause of decivilization in the Alpha Quadrant over the past 40 years, not to mention the light that it casts on the internal struggle struggles of the Romulan people. This one horrible act has set up a chain of reaction that could change the Alpha Quadrant forever. We must know who did this and why. The interrogation of Tarth will no doubt lead to many truths. But I am troubled about the Remans. Why did they turn on Taurus, and where did they go? Good question. Okay, so I need to look at my ship's shield. What is that? Wide beam pistol. No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. Somebody sent me an R&D thing a long time ago that I used, and I've utilized all of it. That's how I got my shields up so high. But I'm not super concerned about, like, cranking it out real fast. I'm fine with it taking a while. Your game doesn't seem to lag or stutter at all. It's quite impressive. Thank you. Uh, what am I looking at? Ship shields. What are my ship shields? 5472 with 802 regeneration. That's 3,048. 5590 with 868 regeneration. So that's better than what I've got. What do we got down here? 58...
That's better. Covariant. Less shield regen, but significantly higher shields. Uh, I don't know who that is. I'm going to decline. Hmm. I think I'll go with the second highest maximum of shields, but the highest shield regen. Oh. See, this is the thing. I wish it would say Mas Gluck on it. Let's accept that. Exit for now. Alright, let me go talk to this guy. I don't just accept random invitations from people I don't recognize. And I hate that I don't recognize names. I'm terrible with that. Hello? He's giving me something. A warp core, a shield, personal armor, personal shield. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. That's personal shield, that's a warp. What is this? Same additional shield power. Same maximum shield. More warp core. No. Starship warp core efficiency. This gives me sector speed. Point two slipstream bonus. What is warp starship warp core efficiency improves power levels when low Hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll hold on to that for now. Uh. All right. Yeah, that's better. Bound to account, so that needs to get sold. Individual armor. Physical and kinetic. All energy, plasma, tetrion, antiproton. 0.35 health regeneration and additional crit chance. I'll take that. Kufras, what are you wearing? You're wearing better than me anyway. That's much better. She'll take that. That'll get sold. Personal shields. I like mine better. Let's look at Kufras here. That's much better. He's going to be all up in people's face. She's fine. Zarva. Zarva comes with us. Okay, she'll take that. And she'll wear that armor. Okay, so that'll get sold. These two items, however, I'm unsure about. 
No, I'll sell that one. That one's obvious. Actually, no, this one is bound on equip, so I'll hold on to that. This one I'm not sure about. Same shield power, same maximum shield power, but it swaps my starship sector speed with starship warp core efficiency. Adds 7.5% of your engine power to weapon power as bonus. That's actually really good, now that I'm reading that one. We'll take that. Alright, cool. And that's a... Da -da -da -da. What's your gun look like? Full auto rifle, wide beam pistol. Oh, that's a pistol? No thanks. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so, episodes, Romulan, the Vault. The Romulans had a base, known as the Vault, that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to retrofit Nero's ship before it disappeared along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hobus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet Intelligence believes that someone is bringing the vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Halcona system and investigate the vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. Okay. See you later, Shadow. Have a good one, man. Go to the vault. Is this it down here? Yeah, go to Starbase 39. Okay. Talk to Lieutenant Commander De Soto in the Admiral's office. All right. Oh wait, I should look at these. No. Sabotage Riemann Supply Base. Yeah, let's do it. Destabilize Tal Shiar operations. Barter gold press latinum for weather control systems. Ugh, that's terrible. Dispute mining rights. That's also very bad. 11%? I can do that. Provide medical assistance in a combat zone. 27% failure rate. 17 I can handle. That was way too high. Okay, personal? Nothing. This is the original universe? Yes, yes it is. It was pointing to Omega Molecules. I was like, what the heck is it pointing to over there? Oi.
speak to Tesoto in the Admiral's office. I'm assuming the Admiral's office is all the way at the end? Uh, technically speaking, I think the answer to that question is no. Shadow. No. Uh. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Whoops. Yeah, Daniels probably knows, but nobody else really will. Do I go over here to get over there? No? How do I get over there? Must be an entrance to her office, to the Admiral's office somewhere. Wait, is this it? Turbo lift to the Admiral's office. Ah ha ha ha! Figured it out! No, you're. DeSoto, here we go. In order to avoid drawing too much notice, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tenet has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready to take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system, uh, if you have a runabout fighter or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system uh, in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. A shuttle will be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. Understood. Hi, Gara. How are you? What can I expect at the vault? Borg technology? Thaleron weapons? Like the ones used by Shinzon? Cloaking mines? Heavy graviton beams? We're not entirely sure that's what we need eyes inside for. Good point. It's near a micro nebula that's surrounded by a tachyon detection grid, even if a cloak ship wouldn't be able to sneak in there. You should be able... You should also expect automated defenses like turrets and cannons. We haven't spotted any ships in the vicinity, fortunately. Although the Romulan cloaking... With Romulan cloaking, anything is possible. I'm good. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft or similar small operations vessel. We need on-site intel from the interior of the vault. Starfleet will not clear you to enter the Harkonis system otherwise. You can purchase a runabout for EC or purchase the Delta Flyer from the C store instead of using a shuttle. Understood. That's the Admiral. Alright, so I need to go get... I need to get a shuttle. Wait, were there... Security officer, that's not what I want. Good morning, Juno. Mr. Juno? Close enough. Uh, no. Oh, here we go. Ships. Ship and shuttle requisitions. Small craft. Ooh, a runabout! 34... Oh, dude, I gotta buy that runabout. Type 8 shuttle. A captain's yacht. Dude, I need a runabout. 
You sure you want to buy the Danube class runabout? Yeah. All right. Is there? There's not a place to customize it. Well. Not now. Oh. <laughs> this guy! He keeps trying to give me stuff, and I keep running away because I don't recognize him. He's probably super annoyed. <laughs> and a mini gun for Flores. Yeah, that is true. I saw that in there. Thank you. Okay. Is this any good? Uh, 351. 246. 222. 345. How much was this one? 351, 345, so this one should come out, that goes there, 345 comes here, 351 will go up there, yes. Alright, so now the lowest damage phaser I have is 246. All right, so this is bound, so that's got to get sold. All right, uh, Alisa, minigun, ninety-four point three anti-proton damage. Let's equip that on her. Who else is rocking a minigun? Zarva. Yeah. Seventy-six to ninety-one and a half. That's a big upgrade. So that's gonna get sold. All right, let's look at armor here. Fifty-eight point two all energy damage resistance. Nice. This looks like exactly like mine, just better. What's this? HP phaser and plasma. HP AP and plasma. I think I'm going to do that. Huffress. Physical and kinetic are both at 108. That's hard to just... Yeah, he's not getting replaced. Gehring. All energy is 31. Yeah, she's got better than all of those. Sarva. Twenty nine, twenty nine, twenty seven. So we'll put this one on her. That'll be sold. And Elisa's got good. What are these shields? Two eighty. I have better. Cuffress. Swap that out on Cuffress. Two 
265 on Zarva. Put that there. Tapor and Tavrel don't come with me. It's just these three. Four, actually. Oh, wait. Gearing. Why are you not wearing good shields? She is. She just does. Okay. Alright, cool. Let's go back to... I want to customize this Danube class runabout. So let's go back to ESD. I don't think they'll ever allow you to have a Borg ship. That just seems... That just seems not in canon. Uh, what was I doing here? Oh, that's right. I'm coming over here. Customize my runabout. Wee! Customize. Customize shuttle. Yeah, runabout. Interior shuttle. Okay, layout. Sh okay, that's all fine. I like type 3. What are these colors for? Advanced. Okay, hull. Oh, nice. Nice. Alright, cool. Save. Purchase. Okay. Thanks, man. Now, how do I get into my shuttle? Speak with the... Speak with the shuttle? Oh, speak with the shuttle information officer in the shipyard at Starbase 39. Okay. okay hold on. Uh, nope, those are all poop. Overload exercise, 14%. That's a 0% failure rate. Let's do that. Too high. What quest are you working on? Um, the vault is the quest I'm working on. Starbase 39, where is that? Is that in the other quadrant? Hmm. Mind if I join? Um, I prefer to do the missions by myself. Uh, just because I don't, I don't like feeling rushed. I don't like missing information in the storyline. But uh, if I need assistance or anything, I'll let you know. Uh, 
12.34. That does seem a bit slower than the other engine, but I'm less concerned about speed. Performance is what I'm more after. I hate that it auto-zooms in really close to your ship. That's annoying. Okay. Talk with the shuttle information's officer in the shipyard. Uh, make primary. Shuttle informations officer. I'm guessing this is the shipyard? Is this you? Shuttle information. Hey, what's up? I was told to report to you. I can provide you with the necessary information on shuttles in general, so feel free to ask. Uh, when you're ready to actually claim your shuttle, you'll need to speak with the ship and shuttle requisitions officer. You must be in a shuttle or fighter when entering the vault system. Okay. That, that's it? Okay. Go to the... Han ha Hakuna Hakuna system it must be right next to the Matata system, right? <laughs> See what I did there? So how does one actually um, get into their shuttle? Because I have a shuttle now. I have the runabout. You just start the quest. Okay. So let's say I didn't have the quest and I just wanted to get into my shuttle. How would I get into my shuttle? You switch starships from your character window. Oh. Oh, look at this. Would you look at this? Handy. Now I can start putting my old ship parts in here. Do I have any torpedoes? I do not. I think that's it. Cool. So this mission's just gonna force me into it. Okay. Ha! <laughs> it's so cute! Obviously, the station isn't abandoned as, in as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the one we can spot. The station is immense. We must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. Sir, for an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. Duh. 
The Romulans are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach Unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to either evade or jam the sensor grid. We must assume uh, that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left in the station, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Okay. Examine the derelict ship. Optional. That are optionals for different carer, carer, carers. You can earn accolades. Are you the only one that doesn't hear sound? I'm streaming sound. I'm tempted to say, technically, Mr. Juno doesn't hear sound either, but... Alright, let's scan this asteroid. The asteroid is unusually large, and it has clearly been mined by the Romulans. It was probably used for raw construction materials, like most of the debris here. This particular asteroid contains pergium, titanium, and duranium. It was probably tractored from a nearby system and brought here to construct hull components. We could probably cut a piece from the asteroid with our weapons. Did that do it? Go away. Asteroid fragment. Was that this? So this fragment is full of duranium. With a little bit of radiation, it'll cause duranium shadows on scanners, which would look a lot like a weapon suite. If the Romulans set up their sensors net appropriately, and the Romulans are sticklers for details, their scanners will exclude this kind of stellar debris. If we just give this, the fragment a little nudge with our tractor beam and follow along behind it, we could slip right through their sensor grid. Follow that rock! Also, I love runabouts because they're DS9. Whoa, it is hauling ass. Go, Rock, go. Nice. 
That was awesome. Picking up some unusual energy readings, we'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. It looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Find the passage deeper into the vault. Wait, can I... Can I get an officer on this ship? Yes, how do I do this? Stations, small, oh! Duh! <laughs> All right. Who am I not using here? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Zarva, Gearing, Kufras, Tavrel, Tapor. I'm not using Tapor. What does she have? Power to engines. Does she have anything? She, that's all she's got. All right. God, I could really use something else. Alright, whatever. It's it's get the hell out of Dodge is what it is. Guessing it's this. Oh, it's not on auto attack. Oh. Doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmented in different parts of the base, possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong with one of the central areas. Uh, access appears to be controlled by the use of security keys. We can disable it if we find a code that block that matches part of a security key. Turret debris. 
The defense turret was hooked into part of the security network. The security code in the subsystem code 6750. Are runabouts buffer than standard Type 8 shuttlecraft? What am I going to? It's hard to tell height here. Oh. Microgravity storage containers, since the interior space has no artificial gravity, they're just left here to float. There's an assortment of construction materials, including personal access code 0668. Understood. Security node. Oh, God. I have to spiral downwards here. I really wish flight was truly three dimensional here so that I could just point straight down and it would allow me to keep going. Because you can't do, like, rolls or flips. Security node for this block of empty residences included a key code 9904. Of course, this one is protected by the other shuttle. Investigating dangerous energy readings. I need to reach other areas of the station. Why would you want to go deep into the station? To steal what remaining sequence you can from the Romulans? There's nothing left here, just a giant... Why are there people here? What would you have of me? I'm scanning a living area. There are worse things that the Remans arrive. They kill us whenever they find us. If you could provide a shield generator, provisions, and medical supplies, I would gra gladly tell you. What does she want? Shield generator, provisions, and medical supplies. Provisions... Medical supplies, shield generator. I brought those requested supplies. Okay. Lahar, one of the other survivors living here, said that they once uh, saw an autonomous cybernetic technology close to the core. I don't know what it is, blah, blah, blah. Emitting dangerous amounts of radiation. I 
I can take you with us. No, I have responsibilities to people here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know. Have your ship just do this number? Because you could do that in in zero G or in outer space. All right, let's get back over here. Personal override code three four four nine. Each key block matches one piece of the key, key in the appropriate code when the rotation matches appropriate to it. I'm glad it figured that out because I didn't know what was going on there. Don't hit the door. Weapons are unusually energy signatures, an abandoned freighter. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Disruptor cannons. Oh, my God. Okay, that was closer than I wanted it to be.
There's a Borg Spear. Oh my god! dormant. It's like I'm put to sleep, but there's not a source. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the spheres hooked into parts of the local system's network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. I agree with them, it is too quiet. Okay. It's a Thaleron reactor. Hello. How are you? Eye of Sauron. This was a weapons lab, an industrial research and fabrication facility where the Robulans built Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated the space, they must be trying to secure the weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. 
Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Uh, who are you? Does it really matter? Call me Obasek, if a name is that important to you. And what are you doing here, Obasek? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. Neither of us is supposed to be here, I suspect. Never rely on the noble intentions of spies and thieves, Captain. And you and I are either one or the other. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, since we're on similar footing, the least we can do is show some courtesy. I appreciate your level-headedness in an unfortunate situation. As you must have surmised, though, I have already located the Thaleron weapons that I need. One of my ships has completed transporting them, and soon we shall make our first strike against the Romulans in our war for liberation. Sadly, we cannot trust any outside powers to ally with us. Our freedom must be won by our own hands. Uh, the Federation has always promoted freedom, but I don't like the idea of Thaleron weapons. Your honesty under pressure is refreshing. Lesser beings would be scheming to learn my plans or begging for mercy. Your intellect and discretion do you credit. The use of Thaleron weapons will have lasting repercussions. I also cannot condone the use. Frankly, I'm astonished by your commitment to principle. I had a very low opinion of Starfleet officers. Sadly, this means that you are also a determined enemy, and a dangerous one. I will allow you to explore the station at your leisure, but I cannot allow you to leave. I'm sure you understand my position. Perhaps at some future time, when the Riemann people are free, I will be able to free you as well. I must warn you that if you attempt to leave, my warship will have no choice but to destroy your craft. Farewell. Well... Okay. Schematic for a turret. Now escape. Light tractor beam turret. No! Okay, yeah, I can't handle that. Later, suckers. Ah! Oh my god, the heavy warbird. There ain't no way in hell I can take on that heavy warbird. That's for damn sure. Ship is under attack. 
Get us out of here. Rear shields failing. Yep, I noticed. Thanks. Ow. Stop it. Later, suckers. Whoop, that ain't happening. Well, can I go through here now? We must stop Obelisk's ship from absconding with Thaloran weapons. We can use the dormant Romulan subspace booster satellite outside the station to send a message to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the interior. The Obasex warship will almost certainly detect us if we do. We have to survive long enough for reinforcements to show up. <sighs> reinforcements have arrived and are just past the nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with the reinforcements and stop that ship. Want us to take care of the fighters and torpedoes.
That was quite the explosion. We're going to leave this system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to Federation space. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, man. Who said I was going to need help with that mission? <laughs> Wrecked! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Starbase 39. Auto navigate. Man. Yeah, I'll try that one. Do I have Admiralty stuff to do? Hey, all my ships are available. No, they're not. Okay. A handful. Thanks, Kalu. I was pretty impressed. I was totally not expecting that Borg Spear to just be chilling there. All right. Oh, man. Really? Let's fly right up on. There we go. Debrief with DeSoto. This I can do. Hey, man. How's it going? I've taken a pre preliminary look at your logs, and it seems that uh, things went a bit unexpectedly. I have a feeling that this isn't the last time we'll see the vault. The Riemann commander you encountered is definitely a major player in the disintegration of the Romulan Star Empire. I'm going to send the information you gathered about him over to an old colleague of mine, Dr. Maximilian Peters, for analysis. If this Riemann is a leader in their separatist movement, we'll have to deal with him, and hopefully Dr. Peters can work up a psychological profile for him and a sociological analysis of the te separatists. Our next step will be to, to decode the signal intelligence and go through the remnants left from the ship that was destroyed near the vault. Now that we know that the Riemanns were hoping to use Thaleron weapons, we need to figure out what their target is. We need to figure out their target location. Right now, Starfleet knows too little about the Civil War in the making, but it will take time to sift through all the data. Keep in touch. Starfleet will notify you when we have a lead. Oh, and thanks for the good work. Also, I'm not a captain. I'm an admiral, but whatever. Excellent work. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obasek and the Romulans. Sela's forces may indeed be hounding... Blah, 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 blah. Weapons is... Un Hold on. Let's talk to this lady. Excellent work. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obasek and the Romulans. Sela's forces may indeed be hounding the Remans, but the use of Thaleron weapons is... 
unacceptable. Not even the Klingons or the Breen will stoop to such barbarism. Starfleet Intelligence will be working to decode the list of possible targets you acquired from the base's databanks. The next step may be to investigate these sites and find out why the Remans want to destroy them. Hmm. Alright, cool. Thanks. Scorpion Fighters. I do not know. Obasek and his people have traveled a most difficult path. After so many years of oppression and Romulan treachery, it does not surprise me that they are suspicious of anyone. The Remans gain much in the years after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but Sila is more secure in her power now, and she may believe that she no longer needs the Remans as allies. If the Romulans seek to enslave the Remans again, there will be bloodshed. Hmm. Starfleet Intelligence has decoded the list of Riemann targets that you recovered from the vault. I need you to investigate one of these locations and determine why Obasek and his forces planned an attack there. The Vahar system is still technically part of the Romulan Star Empire, but Ferengi speculators have moved in, and the Empress has done nothing to remove them. The Ferengi have reopened the mines and are now doing business with anyone with Latinum. You will go to the Vahar system under the pretense of negotiating a possible trade agreement with the Federation. Talk to Madron, the operator of the mines. Convince him to allow you access. Find out all you can. Once we know why Obasek and the Remans are targeting these mines, then we will be able to decide how to proceed. Okay. Let's, uh, let's at least get out of here. Hey, Sherman. G. Sherman. Welcome. Also, I'll need to accept this friend's request. Actually, this is duty officers. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Where are the invites? Received invite. Accept friend invite. Hey, and that was Total Mark? Who was that? To oh, Total. It says right there. Alright, cool. What the heck is all this? Rare ship device consumed on use. Interesting. Hmm. These are all to be sold, so I'll just get this all out of the way here. Okay, what else is going to be sold up here? Wait. Wait. Yeah, probably that. So we get that out of the way. Alright. Interesting. Starbase 24, I do not want to do that. Mine enemy. sure that is the next mission in this season? Mine enemy. Yes. Reports of illegal weapon use off Hafar lead you to evidence of greater atrocities. Why don't I sell those now? I don't know. Because I don't need to go back to ESD for anything else. I'll wait to go back to ESD to do that. How far am I? Uh, 
not very. I'll just wait it out. Ah, here we go. What are these? Oh, that's right. That is a large star. Actually, this is... All right. Man, I have a headache? Stand by. Alright, the Remans were targeting a Magnesite mine in this area, but the list we recovered didn't have its exact coordinates. I know we're in the right area, but all the moons in the system are, in are inhabited and our sensors are being affected by the Magnesite. We'll have to contact each moon to try to determine which one the Remans were actually targeting. Okay. Unsurprisingly, that there's magnesite ore right here. Let's come get that real quick. Oh, great. So, uh, I don't know. They just attacked. Could have been them, I guess. Although unlikely. Yeah, I've personally never been a fan of 
dual analog controls for most games. Not very hospitable. Yeah. Well, you know, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> There's a lot of debris out here. You think this would have cleared up with the gravitational pull of these three moons? <laughs> Hello, my good friends! You're in the market for some high quality magnesite! On behalf of the miners and residents here, I'm more than happy to welcome you to our home. Transport to the surface! Also, I know you Starfleet types are fond of your away teams, but could you please restrict the number of crew you bring down to the surface? My people here aren't used to strangers, and you wouldn't want to disrupt their work. Me and one other. Yeah, it's Elisa. Her minigun is just too good to deny. Man, the loading. There we go. Query in the quarry. Hmm. Interesting. of Romulan civilians. Man, how do these Romulans deal with these Ferengi? They don't seem like they would be two races that would get along very well with each other. Hello, Madron. On behalf of everyone on this Forsaken Rock, let me be the first to welcome you to Hifnar. Hif... I don't know. Hifhar. That name is difficult. As you can see, we don't have time for pleasantries, and I'm not sharing my tra Tranya stash with you, so why don't we skip the chip chat and get down to business? You have excellent magnesite. What makes you think yours is better? I cannot call this mine my own. I'm just the middleman. Out of the goodness of my heart, I help the residents here pass on the products of their hard work to commercial entities such as yourself. The minuscule transaction fee and trade tariff I keep to offset my expenses is figured into the unit cost of the ore. 
My operation has become one of the best in the area because of the high demand for my services from both sides. I provide the best mining equipment and supplies in the sector to the miners, while the customers get competitive pricing on the ore they need. Do you have any more information on the mines themselves? I don't pay much attention to that. Miners have empty carts, and they return with filled ones with ore. That's really all you would care about, isn't it? If you're that interested, you could visit the mines themselves, but I don't recommend it. It's such a dirty, disagreeable business, and I'm convinced that breathing ore dust for too long is terrible for you. The miners who live near the quarters used to keep up night after night with their dreadful coughing, and I had to install soundproofing just to get to some sleep. Are you sure you wouldn't rather look at the ore I have for sale? Nah, I'm good. Suit yourself. Just a reminder, I have an executive contract to export magnesite ore from this moon. If you try to cut me out of the deals, you'll regret it. I'll be back when I'm done. Madron won't answer questions about the Remans. Uh, might be targeting this place. A fear of scaring us away for a po of a possible sale. Perhaps if we ask some of the locals about what's going on here, they'll be able to provide more information. Thank you. I could have figured that out on my own. It's an argument. Hello. I can't talk at the moment. I have to finish the survey on the area so the miners can start working on a new mine shaft. Can I help? Science training required to complete this objective. Well, I can't do that one. One of these is, I bet you one is science, one is tactical, and one is engineering. Can't talk to you, I can't talk to anyone, I'm on the run. If you see those thugs talk, if those thugs see me talking to you, you'll be in danger too. Can I help? Tactical training required to complete this. Alright. So this guy probably needs engineering assistance. Hello. Is there anything I can do to help? Unless you know anything about the laser induction coils. You don't by any chance know anything about laser induction coils, do you? I do. He'll charge me a hundred times what it's worth. He's the only one who brings supplies into this planet. I remember when we had a regular contact with the home world and my brother there would send a package of sweets for my children and every transport. Can't dwell on the past. My problem is this broken drill. I have to fix it or I won't make my quota. We'll salvage parts from old equipment uh, and sometimes other people here will trade components but this requires some specific components. If you think you can help me, I'll mark your map with the locations of some people who might have what we need. Awesome. It's just rock just sitting in the middle of the... That seems unsafe. Hello. How do you avoid breaking your drill bits when you hit a pocket of magnesite? Wrong. Increasing the speed of the drill bit that is failing would typically blah blah blah. Okay. Wrong. Rotational speed or friction. Correct. <laughs> like, you obviously know what you're talking about after two wrong guesses.
Take the part you need. We miners need to stick together. Thanks, man. I like that. You obviously know what you're talking about. Thanks. Oh, wait, no. He's over here. Here he is. Hello. Hey, Eternal. I have a few spare parts. I'm sure I have what you need to get the drill working. Thank you. What a nice lady. She just gave me what I wanted without giving me a runaround. I can't pay my... Well, snap. All right, hold on. Stop chasing me. Don't hurt me. I don't have the latinum. He didn't send you? Nope. I have a daughter in the Rathzor system. I thought I could contact her to send some latinum, but Madron won't let me use the subspace array. You see, I owe him some money, and I didn't make my quota last month because I was sick. Uh, but that's life, isn't it? All you can do is try to hang on to whatever you have left. I'll give you the part you need, take it, and I hope it solves your problem. Thank you. What nice people. I got your stuff. Thank you. With these parts, I can fix the drill and get back to work. I already owe him so much latinum, I don't know how I'll ever repay him. He brings in food and supplies that we need, but the prices are so high. I remember the dark days before we lost Romulus. Uh, I'm sorry. I remember the dark days after we lost Romulus. There were no supply shipments for months. I had to listen to my children cry because they were so hungry. I might spend the rest of my life in debt, but I have a life. To answer your question, though, I don't know what makes this mine different from any other. Magnesite isn't any different. Maybe there are some veins with less impurities in the lower levels of the mine. I wouldn't know. There's a group of thugs who keeps everyone away from those areas, and I wouldn't risk a beating to satisfy my curiosity. If you want to risk checking it out, that's your business. Drill Doctor. How you been, Eternal? Alright, man, I want to see the mines. You want to go to the mine? Are you really interested in buying any Magnesite, or are you just here to cause trouble? Because if it's the latter, I know some place you can start a little ruckus. There's a gang that controls the bottom levels of the mine. They won't even let me in there. Previously... I allowed them to keep their little kingdom in exchange for information, but lately they've been more and more trouble than they're worth, and the intel they're feeding me is useless. Honestly, who doesn't know about the Breen invasion of Defry Space? Yeah, man, there was some cool stuff going on earlier. How was the vault? Impressive. Not, not as hard as some people in chat made it out to be. They were all like, ha ha ha, you're gonna need help. I didn't need any help. Explore the mine. Hi, everybody. Oh, hey, look at this. He got scared. Hello, informational person. This area is restricted. What do you want? I want to enter this area. This area is restricted. Only people my friends and I like may enter, and I don't like you.
I'm very likable. Just ask Madron. The beard money grubber doesn't. <laughs> All he does is collect his lap and make him miserable. That's strange. He suggested that you provide him with information as well as Magnusite ore. Oh, is it information you want? Allow me to provide you a seat free sample. Leave right now. <laughs> oh, man. I think I need to speak with your supervisor. You don't belong here, and I'm done talking with you. Now leave or suffer the consequences. It's been a pleasure wasting my time with you. Bye. Defeat the hostile Romulans. Okay. Alright, Elisa. Thank you, surface of the sun. There are a series of pressure plates located in this area. They're low tech, but the Romulans would have had to resort to outdated security measures because of interference from the magnesite veins in the cavern. The problem is that the magnesite is making our tricorders almost useless. If there's anything on this moon that the Remans would want to eliminate badly enough for Thaleron weapons, it has to be here. We're going to have to figure out how to use the pressure plates to reveal whatever the Romulans are trying to hide. I suspect that we need to activate two of them to open the door. Well, that's easy. Alright, Elisa. Stay. Life form not detected on alternate pressure plate. Can I tell her to go over there? Set a rally point for your crew. Oh. I didn't even know that was a thing! There we go. Right click to remove. There we go. Alright, cool. So, so what did that do? Use hidden door. Hello. Here, Commander. You are out of line. With all due respect, sir, there's a difference between protecting the Empire from her enemies and provoking There is them. much here you do not understand, Janik. The Remans need to know their place, as do you. I will not forget your insubordination, Commander. The Tall Shi'ar has no place for officers who cannot follow orders. I'll be in the command center. Colonel! They were civilians! Their blood is on our hands! Get used to it. There will be more. 
Speaking of which, why don't you clean out the brig before you become a resident there? Well, that seemed rather unpleasant for them. Excuse me. Hello. them fools find a commander's access code Interesting. True way activity. I'm going to have to read all of these to get this code. Huh! <laughs> nice! Okay, so the code wasn't here. Is this from whence I came? No. Interesting. I don't think I'm supposed to be coming this way yet. Unlock door. Oh, ha 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 ha. Just kidding. I almost feel sorry for you, but I have my own neck to worry about. <sighs> I'll be joining you in there soon enough. If Hakeev has his way, we all will. Hmm. Well, 
Hello. Goodbye. All right, cool, thanks. Oh, wait. Sweet. All right, Janik. Enough. I surrender. I value my life more than the Tal Shiar's secrets. I'll tell you anything you want to know. But first, you must tell me why you are here and what you want. Uh, why do the Remans want to destroy this base? The Remans know about this base? Impossible. Only the leadership of the Tal Shiar know we're here. The Empress herself couldn't find us. I don't believe you, but it makes no difference. This is not a military installation. We listen and record here, nothing more. There are many targets those Riemann scum would find much more tempting. Hmm. I will need more information from you uh, to prove that this base is harmless. Colonel Haki will want my blood for this, but take my security code. You can use it to access the control room. You'll find everything you're looking for there. All right. Bye. Come on, everybody. Got a bunch of Romulan cool dudes with me now. Come on, Romulan cool dudes. Let's go shoot fools. Got him. Hi. How did you find this place? What else do you know? No matter. You won't be revealing anything to your superiors. It's disappointing I cannot give you a proper interrogation, but I have much to do in little time. Figures. The self-destruct sequence has begun. This base will be your tomb. Well, that seems unpleasant. Escape from the mines. Hurry. Hold on. We got plenty of time. He said not knowing.
hell is that? A Horta? No kill I. No kill I. Oh. Cool. Yeah, man, you hang out. Here, let me give you this. Maybe that'll help you out. See you later, man. Please don't die in the explosion. This way? Yeah. Rocks! I gotta save the animals, man. That's how you end every Super Metroid speed run. Get up! Alright, cool. None of the miners made it out, apparently. Alright, let's go talk to this guy who's probably pissed that I just collapsed his mind. Mine, not mind. What the hell am I talking about? My mind, what have you done? It was the Tal Shiar you were sel sheltering. I am shocked. I had no idea. I certainly wouldn't have sent you down there if... Uh, you didn't seem to find anything valuable down here. Because if you did, remember that I have an exclusive contract. What is it to you? The rough area of the quadrant, you know? And they're good neighbors, if you're not easily embarrassed. Their cameras and listening devices are everywhere. I haven't had a single problem with the Orions or Herogens since they moved in. And it doesn't hurt that I acquired the odd bit of information here and there. I'm a businessman, and information is big business. Yeah, I know, right? Unfortunately, no, I'll admit. I was trying to find out their systems were locked down tight. I'm sure whatever it was had to be big news. Everyone was on edge. Janek and Hakib were barely speaking. And once I heard Hakib mumbling something about orders, someone's been pulling the strings, but I don't know who. I know the Tal Shiar takes security very seriously. If you manage to pull any files from their systems, you can expect them to be heavily encoded. Trust me, I speak from experience. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go talk to a hundred Romulans into digging a new mine to replace the one you destroyed. My profit margin this month is ruined! Treat those miners well, or I'll be back. He doesn't seem to know much, and he's not willing to give up any information without being paid. I don't think he can help us anymore. We should return to the ship and try our luck at decrypting the files we recovered from the Tal Shiar. I'm sure they, they will be more than useful than anything Madron has to say. Hi. I did, but the game gave me problems. What? I did say that's what I was going to do. <laughs> yeah. In your ready, okay. Library files. Duty officers. 
Is it? Trophies? What? What? Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that was a lie. Becker Engineering. Decipher files in your ready room or conference room. This is my ready room. Oh. Derp. Fervor. Inaccuracy. Wait. House of Tog lost its seat in the Klingon High Council after evidence was revealed that House leaders collaborated with the Romulans to attack the House of Martok. Plethora. No anomalous data. Cross reference. Inaccuracy. Ambassador Soketh was revealed to be an Undine infiltrator after Starfleet vessel transported him to the monastery. Okay. Precedence. Partial number sequence uh, found in officer ID numbers. Oh, I don't know the answer to this. Let's do this one. Cross reference. Starfleet has no record of Ambassador Jirok visiting Andorra. Jirok Vulcan? That makes sense. Whoa. Alright, so we do have to fix this one. All right, so no effects noted. Okay. Gotcha.
Salshgar planning attack on a Riemann base. <laughs> Bye, Carol. The Tal Shiar records you recovered show that Hakiv and his forces have been targeting the Remans for months. Obasek and his followers have been driven from their homes, had their ships destroyed, and their loved ones killed or imprisoned. Some might say that Obasek's campaign against the Tal Shiar is jock. However, Obasek was planning on using Thaleron weapons in the Fahar system, which would have killed hundreds of innocent civilians as well as a tall Shiar cell there. This is the problem with revenge. Violence and fury only create more pain and suffering. All right. Cool. Well, unfortunately, now that Mom shows up, I'm gonna stop the stream. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna stop for now. I may stream again later. Um, so, if y'all wanna follow me, well, everybody here, I think, has already followed me. So, anyway, um, I'll be back a little later tonight, I think. So, uh, thank you guys for hanging out, and we'll see y'all next time.